Hi, my name is Dave Austin, and today we're going to run through a full product demonstration on the MFT1835 multifunction tester from Mega. Just like many other Mega products, the MFT1800 series is Category 4 safety rated and has a bulletproof input protection system. So even mid-test, if you apply voltages, it will not damage the instrument. We have a large dual function display, so when carrying out continuity testing, for example, the test current can be displayed at the same time as the resistance result. It has left and right-handed operation on all models, making it easier to use, and the MFT is also extremely tough, and it's IP54 rated as well. The MFT1835 incorporates all the items you'd require on an installation tester, plus more. It really is a comprehensive bit of kit. We have a basic insulation continuity tester with a 100 to 1000 volt range. We have a two-wire non-trip loop impedance test and also a traditional high current test. We've then got an RCD tester, which incorporates the facility of a ramp test. We've also got a fully functional earth electrode tester within this instrument with the capability of carrying out a two or three wire earth spike or ground resistance test, including a stakeless earth testing method using an additional clamp, which will also enable earth leakage currents to be read. For three phase installations, we also have the capability to check phase sequence. The MFT1835 is fully rechargeable and has the facility to store results internally and then Bluetooth them to a PC or other mobile device. The unit also has full true RMS measurement for voltage and current. What I'll do now is run through a full product demonstration. First we're going to look at voltage and frequency measurement. So we turn the unit on and on the back we select our phase and neutral inputs. And when I apply a voltage, we see it indicated on the main display with the frequency shown above. Now, if we were carrying out phase rotation, we'd be using three leads and they'd be attached to the three phases accordingly. Next, we'll do continuity measurement. So we select our continuity range. The next thing we have to do is nut out our lead set using the non-hinged part of the clip. Once we've got a stable reading, we press the test button and the indication shows that lead null is now in place. If you wanted to simply check continuity on a cable, you can turn the buzzer on just and off again just by pressing the button. What we'll do now is apply a known value of resistance, so the buzzer is turned off and we get a reading here of 0.56 of an ohm. Okay, let's now look at insulation testing. With this model we've got 100, 250, 500 and 1 kV. So let's select the 500 volt insulation range and then we press the button and take a reading. As you can see, we've now got greater than 999 mega ohms and an applied voltage of 552 volts. So now let's take this time to take the opportunity to show you the input protection. If we'd mistakenly attached to a live supply, see what happens. Let's put a live supply on here. There we go. And immediately it shows us 237 volts and 50 cycles. And this protection also applies if you're midway through a test. So go back to our insulation test. We've got our reading on the display, 999 mega ohms, 552 volts. And then we bring the supply voltage across the line. You'll see we get an audible and visual indication. And the tester has swapped to a display of the connected mains voltage and frequency. Moving on, we'll now look at the two-wire no-trip loop testing. We select the phase earth LPE setting on the left-hand range knob. 
This is a low current test, so RCDs will not operate with this test. We're going to apply a green and red lead, and then when the mains voltage is turned on, you'll see the measurement being taken. This unit will also operate on 110 volt as well as on three phase systems, so you can actually measure prospective short circuit current between phases. So the test has just finished, and we can see the reading of 1.16 of an ohm, and on the upper scale on the display, it's indicating the prospective fault current of 198 amps. We'll now go through the two-wire high current loop impedance test. So selecting the phase neutral LN setting on the left hand dial. This is a two-wire test, but you do need to swap the line and neutral connections at the back of the tester and connect the line and neutral to the supply. And once connected, the mains voltage is displayed and the test starts automatically. We've got a reading here of 1.41 ohms and a prospective fault current of 163 amps. Now this test can be undertaken with a supply lead which can be plugged into any socket outlet you wish to obtain a loop impedance value. When it comes to RCD testing, the MFT1835 will test types A, AC and S or time delayed RCDs and also DC sensitive RCDs such as type B which are used in some solar PV applications. We have the facility to test manually, so we can do the times half, times one, and times five tests. And we can also do tests at twice the rated current, as well as variable settings for testing RCDs which have adjustable ratings. For fault investigation where there's nuisance tripping, the tester also has a ramp test, which can find the actual tripping point of an RCD. We can also switch between 0 and 180 degrees. Finally, if you're working alone, you can use the auto test feature to undertake the tests on the RCD. All you have to do is stand by the RCD and reset it as needed. And then when the test is finished, just look through the results. For this demonstration, we plug the unit into a 30 milliamp RCD. We've selected 30 milliamps on the range knob and selected auto test. When the test button is pressed, the auto test sequence will commence, which is half I, so half the rated value of the breaker, where we shouldn't see it trip, times one at both zero and 180 degrees, times two at zero and 180 degrees, and times five at zero and 180 degrees. So when we start the test, the unit will very quickly display times half well, we shouldn't see it trip. So let's press the button. That's what it's doing now. Then it goes straight into times one at zero degrees and the RCD has operated. Reset the RCD and we have times one at 180 degrees. Reset again. We have zero at twice times and 180 degrees at twice and the same for five. Once we reset the RCD for the final time, we get an indication on the screen that the test has ended. And now, pressing our button here, we can cycle back through and look at the results. So we have our half the rated value, but we shouldn't see the trip, and you can see it's timed out greater than two seconds. Then we go on to times one at zero degrees, times one at 180 degrees, times two at zero, and times 2 at 180, and times 5 at 0, and times 5 at 180. The MFT1835 has the facility of current measurement, so using the optional Mega I clamp, this gives us a range of 0.5 milliamps to 200 amps, and with the resolution down to 0.1 of a milliamp, it can be used for earth leakage measurements. The last test we're going to look at is the earth electrode resistance test. The MFT1835 is capable of two-pole, three-pole and three-pole with attached rod technique or selective testing. 
and stateless earth spike resistance test capability. Now we're going to do a test on a simulated earth electrode. So we select earth electrode RE and also in this case the 3P position. Then we press the test button to begin. Now the unit will also monitor to make sure that our current and potential spikes are not too high a resistance. And as you can see, we've got our resistance displayed of 3.22 ohms. That concludes our product demonstration today. The MFT1835 is built in our factory in Dover and comes with a lifetime technical support and a standard three-year warranty. If you require any further information, you can contact our sales office on plus 44 1304 502 101 or the technical support group on plus 44 1304 502 102. Alternatively, you can contact your local Mega reseller, who you can find on our website www.mega.com and you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter or YouTube. Thank you for watching.